I have a number of announcements. All of them are important announcements, and I wanted to go through them with you. Uh, first off, though, before we do anything else, I want to welcome everyone here this morning. I know it's been a cold morning, and, uh, but uh, it's great that you're here and the warmth of, of uh, the Holy Spirit and the warmth of fellowship with brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, if you're a guest and visiting with us, uh, please make yourself known. And the best way to do that and best way for everybody is to fill out that little connection slip. And again, if you're no information has changed on you as a member, uh, then all you have to do is put your name down and the fact that you're taking communion today. Okay, let's go through these. First off, this week's food closet challenge is stuffing. And uh, that's good. The 2019 Christmas green sale order forms. There's one in your bulletin, and they can be placed on the in the box that's on the welcome table as you come in the narthex doors. Uh, please, that cutoff for that is November 23rd, so your orders have to be in by then in order to be filled. So there'll be more advertising, but uh, you might want to look at that form and, and uh, start thinking about what you want to order. Uh, I want to talk about the Advent Family Nights. Again, this year we're going to have two nights, uh, December the 4th and December 11th. They're Wednesdays. It's from 6 to 8 o'clock. Uh, great time to come together individually or as a family. There'll be craft making, carol singing, devotions. Uh, it'll be just a wonderful time and a meal. And it's all only five bucks uh, per person. And we have to do this. If you don't buy a ticket in advance, we, we're not going to be able to sell you one at the door because we're going to buy the material and we're going to order the food dependent upon the number of people who are definitely coming because the craft material uh, has to be ordered so that we have enough for everyone. And uh, we don't want to waste money by having a bunch for people that aren't signed up. So anyway, please, if you uh, can join us, consider that. All right, also in your bulletin, there's some information about our upcoming Christmas Bazaar. It's on the day after, uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, November 30th from 8 to 2.30. It's a great, great bazaar. It's not a flea market. If you've been here before, you know they are vendors and they've got some really quality stuff. They've got craft makers and uh, uh, there's people selling specialty foods and other things that can be uh, enjoyed or, or given as gifts to people that you, you want to share them with. Uh, we are always in need of coffee social hosts to help us out with uh, uh, the coffee that we enjoy before and after the services. And also, uh, if you are coming to that bazaar, if you would be able to spend maybe an hour just uh, helping out, you don't have to do a whole lot, just We'll give you something to wear that identifies you a badge. And that way, if people walking around need assistance in finding the door to get back out or get to the ladies' room or men's room, you can point them in the right direction. All right, now, what? in a few moments, you're going to hear a great message, not from me, but from Reese. She's going to deliver the message, and it is very inspiring, uplifting. Uh, for the last several weeks, Quite a while now, Pastor Jay has been talking about discipleship, blending in with that stewardship, and that, that makes a lot of sense because discipleship is our learning, our striving to become like Jesus. And when you become like Jesus, it involves individual and personal sacrifice on our part. And that's where our stewardship comes in, stewardship in the form of sharing our, our time, our talent, and even our treasure in the ministry of God's Word and uh, sharing the gospel with others through our church and, and through our various ministries. So, also in your bulletin, I know we've got a lot here in your bulletin this week, there are, there's a pamphlet, a little tri bifold that says, where are you in your faith journey? Don't expect you to read that now, I hope you don't, uh, that you take it with you. Look at it over the coming week. It'll help you be prepared for Pastor Jay's message next week where he's going to try to bring all this together. And uh, as you look at that, the next step, look at your 2020 commitment card. Let's call it what it is. It's a pledge card. And you know, you, you, can't, 
You can't make a budget unless you know what you got to work with. You can't make your own budget without that. We can't make a budget here in the church without it. So we're not going to ask you to fill this out even next week. But be prepared by looking at this, thinking about it, prayerfully considering where you are in your own individual walk, where you are with, with the Lord right now. And then also consider what you can do to uh, be a good steward of what God has entrusted each one of us with. Some more than others. That's just a, a fact of, of life. But to each of us, as the good Lord said, to, you know, to whom much is given, much is expected. And even though we might not think we have much, when we compare it to some others, we might have a, a great deal. So 